Hello, my name is Jackie Daniel. I'm Chief Executive at Newcastle Hospitals and I'm really sorry to be missing this um, annual network event. I want to say something about the organisation that I lead. Newcastle Hospitals, as you will know, is a large academic teaching centre providing a whole range of specialised and general services. We fulfil an important role in the region and we are what I call an anchor organisation, really supporting the network of providers to deliver great care. Now that care is underpinned by research and innovation and I guess that's why we're, we're here today. And we host the local research network, which a role that we take really, really seriously. And in fact, I was talking with Jonathan Sheffield, who is the local research network CEO uh, nationally, and he was really singing our, our praises regionally. Um, so you should be feeling very, very proud of the work that you do. There's really strong evidence now linking research active organisations to top quality um, care and outcomes for patients. So we need to make sure that right across our region, our staff and patients can access the research that we're doing. It makes me uncomfortable um, leading one of the NHS's top performing hospitals, knowing that the health inequalities for, of some of our patients across the region are not where they should be. And some of our patients are dying well in advance of other comparable regions in the country. So research has a really important role to play in turning that dial, as indeed does digital and technology. Let me say a little bit about how digital and technology can transform our NHS. Thankfully now, we've got a very, very clear mandate from Secretary of State Matt Hancock, who you know, wants to see the NHS fully digitalised and uh, I know that we can, we can reap full benefits from that. Here across the North East and North Cumbria, again, we're playing um, a leading role. We're developing the Great North Care Record. That's going to reach 3.5 million people that we serve and there are around 25 or more organisations involved in that work. That's going to result, I think, in as being one of the largest and most comprehensive network of um, e-record that there is, certainly in this country, but potentially um, worldwide. And the benefits that that can deliver are huge, absolutely huge. In relation to research, obviously it gives us really structured data and information which will really lend itself to the work that we want to do in the future. But it's changing how patients receive their care, how they're experiencing their care, which is even better. Here in Newcastle, we what they call a global digital exemplar. Um, and that sounds very grand, in actual fact it is. We're one of probably the most mature, digitally mature organisations now in, in the country. And again, it's, it's transforming what we're able to do. We've rolled out e-observations right across our 81 wards. And we're already seeing the difference that that makes in picking up um, errors and making patient care just far more safe. It's reducing costs and it's saving an hundreds of hours of staff time uh, each week. In Newcastle Hospitals, our surgical training centre is really um, at the cutting edge and we're using a vast array of, of robots now to perform uh, surgery in a minimally invasive way. It's, we're getting much better outcomes, it's reducing variation, and it's enabling us to train our, our future surgical workforce very, very quickly. Newcastle has got widest adoption of robotic surgery. There are seven surgical specialties offering robotic surgery. We also have got one of the biggest surgical training program offering sur training in robotic surgery. The way I see future that we'll be training surgeons using virtual reality, augmented reality, and also simulation, and we'll be using uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning in delivery of surgical care and also surgical training. And that's how I see future to be panning out 
uh, in, in the way we tre treat people with surgery. I love what's happening out on the wards with our portering staff at the moment. They're using an app. Um, it's almost like it, I liken it to the use of Uber and the technology that they're using where we can call up a porter, um, we can track the job, we know exactly where they are and it's saving them lots of time and really benefiting uh, our patients. When I look back at my 38 years now in the NHS, you can see just how, how much has changed. But particularly in the last 10 years or so, you can feel the rapid pace as, as kind of digital and tech have advanced. I only need to think about really um, the large national and international events, you know, Obama's presidential campaign or things like the um, you know, the Pope, the inauguration of, of, of the Pope over a decade. And, you know, you see these images, you know, vast crowds in one, vast crowds plus mobile and digital technology iPads capturing the event and streaming it live just there and then. In my own organisation, you know, I think about how I use um, social media. I'm an avid um, Twitter fan, as you, as you will know. And it's amazing how much you can capture in just those few um, characters and it reaches thousands in seconds. So gone are the days when the only way to communicate with staff was face-to-face -face team briefings that you cascaded out. Now it can be done in a split second. It, it's really transformational and it really connects people and staff in the NHS. In the city region uh, of Newcastle, we're doing some really important work and looking at the connection between health, wealth and well-being, trying to improve economic productivity. And there's a real connection here because we are working with well-established but also some startup companies that are bringing new digital and technology advances into the health space and working with us to try and get the rapid translation into healthcare of new products and new ways of working. Um, and it's really important that as the NHS and healthcare providers, we're open to that business and we're making the links between practice in healthcare, the work that our clinicians and staff are doing, link this to the work of our academics and researchers um, and make sure that it's translated as rapidly as possible. And this is a big area of focus for partners in the city at the moment. And I think for the NHS, it's one of, one of the things that we're going to have to learn to do much, much better. So at Newcastle Hospitals, we've invested in digital technology on our wards. We've managed to place across 55 inpatient wards white screens which will bring the data to life for the use of our patients. This includes diabetes care, kidney injury, and most importantly for those markers from the observations that flag deterioration. So our systems designed so the MDT can come together at a glance, use this information to identify those high risk issues that have a big impact on patient care when done well, locally and quickly. And with the patient deterioration, we're now in a situation where this data is helping reduce the time it takes to do the observations, reducing the gaps and delayed observations. And ultimately, we're now on this journey that will start to reduce that preventability of missed deterioration, where unfortunately patients can end up in intensive care. The creation of the Great North um, Care Record and the patient portal is going to be game changing for not just for our staff, um, our clinicians who will receive data um, real time. It'll be connected. It won't matter where you work across our region. You'll be able to access the same uh, joined up information. But it'll also be a game changing for our patients. They'll be able to um, have virtual uh, appointments with their clinicians down the line. Technology that we're used to having at our fingertips at home, we, we'll have right at the heart of the NHS. We live and work in a global um, environment and of course we, we're doing some wonderful stuff uh, in Newcastle and in the region but it's really important also that we, we reach out and look at what other places are doing. So it's fantastic to take a delegation over to Boston recently 
it was fascinating to actually see the Age Lab for real and and see how they've created a space for entrepreneurs, investors, people from the health sector, uh, patients themselves, really come together and reimagine how you know um, we make best advantage of things like the wearable technology that's just advancing at a pace. Um, and now how a small device, literally we can carry on our wrist, can upload lots and lots of data about what's happening physiologically and can help bring new treatments um, right to the forefront. So it was, it was a really positive experience and one I'm sure that we'll um, repeat over the next 12 months or so, it's important we get out, it's important we bring the best that there is globally right here back to the northeast and North Cumbria. This pace of change, you know, is going to just carry on getting faster and faster, I think. So we need to keep abreast of that all of the time. And I was reminded of this over the recent weeks when we actually sold a site that had been the old general site um, for services in Newcastle to the university. And that's just the beginning of another great partnership, the City Council, with our universities and with the hospitals, where we're going to redesign a, a campus for ageing and vitality. It will bring together not just services, it will bring together housing and research facilities all on one site. This is really, really exciting. It's a game changer for the people of, of, of the North East. I think it'll be one of the first campuses of its kind nationally. That's the kind of shift that we can see through active support of research and innovation in the North East and North Cumbria. I'd like to finish now and just say, I'm again, sorry that I was unable to join you. It looks like a really exciting network event this year. I hope that through the sharing and learning that you're doing today, you're able to go back out there and make a really big difference.